Alright, you already probably guessed what this is. This video is going to be about other than the title. It is going to be about the 14 points. 14 points, 14 points. And let's just get started on talking about them. From number one, all the way to number 14. Kill the intro! Bum 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 ba da bum. Ba ba bum 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 ba da bum. Dung 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 da da dung 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 da da dung 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 da da dung. Da 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 fourteen points. All right, guys, welcome to a new dog show episode. Today we have the cat with us. The cat with us, and let's just get started talking about the fourteen points. All right. So one thing in particular about the 14 points is this. It is written and delivered by a guy named Woodrow Wilson. This guy right here is Woodrow Wilson. And he wrote a speech called the 14 points that would have went into the Treaty of Versailles in 1919. However, mainly only one of them went in. And here's how you can remember the date of that speech. All you have to do is memorize the word, I mean the number, 18. And by that, it why? Because it's uh, because the speech was delivered on January 8th of 1918. All you have to do is rem memorize 18. Simple enough, isn't it? Well, it's going to get harder. Let's talk about all of the 14 points. This is the dummy version, so all you have to do right now is just memorize what each of them are. Alright, first point. It is that there should be no secret things, no secret stuff like treaties and from now on. Sea navigation. It should be public. Everyone should be allowed into the international unclaimed seas, like the Mediterranean, Atlantic, not be bombed by anyone. There should be more trade and stuff. There should be less death and less killing. And there should be some colonial, there should be some colonial influences. Actually, you have to search all about the more specific parts of. And number six, it's Russian stuff. Number seven, it's Belgium stuff. Number eight, it's French stuff. And number nine, it's Italian stuff. And number ten, it's Austrian-Hungary stuff. And number eleven, it's Balkan stuff. And number... And number uh, 12, it's Turkish stuff. And number 13, it's Polish stuff. And number 14, finally, we have the League of Nations. The original United Nations. And so just getting back to these points, let's just do... This, these are just some icons here. I, I, even I even made a poster, but I'm thinking of selling it to someone. So that they can help that so that it'll help them review the 14 point on the history test or something. But it took me like an hour to make that. Because I mean look here. Like these are all simple alright, but then we start going into the flags. That's the thing that mainly got into my attention. In the League of Nations, I almost well, I almost messed up. <laughs> And that's basically everything that I could have said of, so, think of right now. Because Belgium stuff, French stuff, Italian stuff, Austrian Hungary stuff, Balkan stuff, Turkish stuff, Polish stuff. I'm just simplifying, simplifying things here, you know. Now let's go and have a look on the effects of the 14 point. For that, let's get into the notes. And here's the good news for you guys. There wasn't much effort. There wasn't much, uh, much influence. There wasn't much of an effect. If you will, if you will. But there were some minor effort effects, I will have to say. The League of Nations. The League of Nations. It is just very awesome here because of a lot of things. And so that is one of the most important things in the world. The League of Nations is pretty much the most important nation organization in the world until its downfall, which would be like at the start of World War II, I guess. 
And this was the 14th point here. This is the 14th point. And that was the only point that was mainly authorized. And there's so much I haven't still talked about here, but we'll have to skip because of a lot of time issues. That is mainly all of the effects of the 14 points on almost anything. No one really talked about it except Woodrow Wilson. And even the United States of America didn't really like, the Republicans didn't really like the League of Nations. And they're like, we hate this League of Nations. It's useless. And we're just gonna, and we're never gonna join it. And Woodrow Wilson said that if the United States was not in this League of Nations, then the world will have a second world war. And in a generation. And sure enough, less than 20 years later, World War II occurred. This thing was disbanded. However, in the rises and the ruins of the League of Nations and World War II, the United Nations, the United Nations, the United Nations was created. You've probably seen me try to draw the UN during my speech videos a couple of times. So, in conclusion, the 14 points were a set of 14 points delivered, a speech delivered by Woodrow Wilson about how, about these points that could, that if achieved, could end all wars in the future. And this could have done it. And if there were more of these points on the Treaty of Versailles, then maybe there would have been no World War II at all. And so that is the end. Big shout out to the subscribers who have recently subscribed to my channel. I have now 125 subscribers and my goal is for now 200 subscribers. So keep going guys and eventually I will get the goal 1,000 subscribers and you know what happens when that happens. And for other than a total of 125 subscribers, I have 1.3k views, 15.5 hours of watch time. And here is my latest one before this video was published. I'm just gonna like it. No one liked it. No one liked it. Now, I'd rather do a subscriber shout out here, guys, but for some reason, I'm pretty sure that the people who subscribe to me who let me see who they are. Well, not really like other people to know who they are, since mainly uh, most of them have zero subscribers. But other than that, that is all for today's episode. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Shnan out. Peace!